Well, praise the Lord. I know I done went live a little bit earlier this evening, but um, just got done praying here in my office and uh, couldn't get a scripture out of my mind, and I felt like somebody needed this. Uh, and I wanted to share with you. I know, again, we went live earlier, uh, but I thought about Genesis chapter 21 and Hagar. And uh, this is talking about the time that uh, she was cast out. And uh, she was given a, a little water in her bottle and a little food. And uh, she started out on the journey and she got to a place that the water ran out and uh, there was no more food. And uh, so she thought, I've come to the end, I'm going to die. And she had her child Ishmael there. And so she puts him under a bush and goes as though it were a bow shot away from him and said, let me not see the death of the child. And she said over against him, lifted up her voice and wept. And uh, maybe you're in a place today that a lot of the things that you have depended upon have run out. Uh, maybe there are people in your life that you thought would always be there and they've cast you out. Or you've looked for them and they've not been there for you during this your time of need. And slowly by slowly the resources have begun to run out and the enemy has said just give up. That's as far as you'll ever go. I want you to know today the devil is a liar and the father of it. God has already, amen, made a way, even though sometimes we don't see it. God was listening for her prayer, and the Bible tells us that we have not because we ask not. And so uh, God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God calls to her and says, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not. For God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. But the verse that I've always went back to that's always stood out to me so strongly was uh, Genesis 21 and 19. And it says, And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. There was a well there that she couldn't see beforehand. But when God opened her eyes, she was able to see that well. And I just want to encourage you tonight, maybe you feel like there's just no source. But friend, God has not left any of us. God is right there. He's a very present help in a time of trouble. We just need to pray that God would open the eyes of our people. Um, you know, they even sing that song, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. And uh, we really sometimes get distracted. We get blinded by the trouble and the storms of life that we end up going through with and um, we get blinded from the things that are right there in front of us and as the old saying is sometimes we cannot see the forest for the trees but I'm so thankful that God took a moment and spoke to her and God opened her eyes and she was able to go to that well and fill up her bottle and able to go on so don't ever get to that place in your life that you think, man, I just can't go any further. By God's grace, you can make it. You just don't see the well. You don't see the source. But God has got a source there for you. And that's why it's so important that we look up and we look to Him. Lift our eyes unto the hills from whence cometh our help, knowing that our help cometh from the Lord. So the seed, and I just felt like somebody really, really needed that so desperately. And uh, I wanted to share that with you that, you know, maybe you've prayed and you didn't get the answers that you wanted to get. Maybe you wanted a yes and you got a no, or maybe you got a not yet, or a maybe. And uh, you're wondering, you know, why not? You know, I've went as far as I can go. Every other avenue is, is uh, exhausted. Just want you to know tonight that, that we're praying for you, that, that God open your eyes and that you could see, man, he's got everything that you need. And, and I'll share this with you for just a moment. Uh, many years ago, this is the scripture that got me through one of the most difficult times of my life. Uh, when uh, our oldest son, Stephen, died. And, uh, you know, there were lots of people, you know, trying to offer lots of advice. But when God gave me this scripture that there was a well there, then I realized if I would bury myself in him, if I would seek him, then I would find exactly what I needed to get me through this difficult time of my life. And so uh, don't feel like God's forsaken you just because you don't feel the goosebumps and you're not running the aisle. 
doesn't mean that God is a million miles away. Friend, he promised. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. And I believe that he's right there with you. If you still are in right relationship, even though you can't see, that well is still there. So may God bless you tonight. And I pray this encourage somebody. Uh, as I felt this, I felt this as I as I finished praying, that somebody has come to the end of their, their self, the end of their source, and they're saying, man, I just don't know if I can go on. And they're looking for things to die. Maybe it's your hopes, your dreams, your marriage, whatever it might be. But thank God, God's listening. And he said, what aileth thee, Hagar? In other words, why are you crying? Why have you given up? She said, I don't want to see the death of the child. I don't want to see the death of the lad. And God opened her eyes and she was able to go on. Just one word from God will be enough to help us to pick up, pack up, and go on. God bless you. It's my prayer. Hope you have a good night. And I hope this will help somebody tonight. In Jesus' name, amen.